welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to use the shorthand notation to write electron configurations. And this is also known as the noble gas notation or noble gas configuration. So here's the first four noble gases, helium, neon, argon, and krypton. And here's their electron configurations. Notice helium can hold two electrons, neon has 10, argon has 18 electrons, and krypton has 36 electrons. So to use the shorthand notation, we're going to use the noble gas in our electron configuration. So let me show you something like lithium first. Lithium has three total electrons, and if I want to write the noble gas or shorthand configuration, what I'm going to do is take helium in brackets. Those brackets represent the electron configuration of helium, which is 1s2. Instead of writing 1s2 here, I just wrote helium. And then after that, I would put 2s1. So I have two electrons plus one electron is three electrons, which is just what I wanted. And for lithium, because lithium only has three electrons, writing helium isn't super helpful, but the noble gas configuration is helpful for our larger elements. Let's look at something like aluminum. Aluminum has 13 total electrons. So I can use neon to help me write the electron configuration. So I would write Ne in brackets to represent neon's electron configuration. Notice here I left off on 2p6, which means I need to start with 3s, and I can fit two electrons in 3s, and I'm just left with 3p1. So I have 10 total electrons in neon, plus two is 12, plus one is 13. So aluminum is good. Let's try nickel. Nickel has 28 electrons in it. So I can use argon's electron configuration. So I'll write AR in brackets, and that took up 18 of my electrons. Argon ends with 3P, which means I need to start with 4S. 4S can hold two electrons. And then I move into 3D. And let's see, I have 18 plus two is 20. I need 28. So I'm going to put 3d8 there. So argon, 4s2, 3d8. And see how much time that saved us instead of having to write out this whole part of the electron configuration. I just wrote argon in brackets. Let's try rubidium. Rubidium is number 37 on the periodic table. And to write out the whole electron configuration would take some time, but thankfully we can use the noble gas configuration. Krypton has 36 electrons, it ends with 4p6, which means rubidium is just krypton 5s1. And that's all that we would have to write for the electron configuration of rubidium. So to write the shorthand configuration or the noble gas configuration, all that we have to do is write our noble gas in brackets and then pick up our electron configuration where the noble gas left off. I hope this was helpful in writing shorthand notation. It does save you a lot of time, so it's a good skill to know. If you have any other questions with electron configurations, make sure and check out my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by.